This is going to be real interesting. We are going to talk about the transformer. You are able to see the transformer here. So probably you will be seeing in lot of streets in your city or in a village or district. You can see this kind of things is there in the street which is nothing but your transformer. What is it? Let's see. Transformer. What is transformer? Transformer is an electrical device used to convert your low alternating voltage into high alternating voltage. I got a low voltage. I can. I want to increase it to high voltage. You can go with this transformer. It transfers the electrical power from one circuit to another circuit. The transformer is based on the principle of electromagnetic induction. You are able to see there is a magnetic flux change happening here which is getting impacted here. The transformer is working on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. The transformer will be having two coils, one is primary, the other one is secondary. This is the number of turns of coils rotated in the metal. Actually, mutual induction between two or more windings is responsible for the transformer action in an electrical transformer. Now, we will talk about the working principle of transformer. The AC input is applied across the primary coil. It continuously varying the current in the primary coil produces a magnetic flux. You are able to see the magnetic flux here. Which is happening in the primary coil. In turn, it produces a magnetic flux in the secondary coil. Hence, an induced EMF is produced across the secondary coil, which can be taken out. Let EP and ES be the induced EMF in the primary and secondary coils. NP and NS is the number of turns in the primary and secondary coil. Since the same flux links with the primary and secondary, the EMF induced per turn of the two coils must be the same. So, we will be deriving the formula of the energy EMF EP divided by NP is equal to ES divided by NS or ES divided by EP. ES divided by EP is equal to NS divided by NP. So, for a better ideal transformer, the input power is equal to output power. So, obviously, we will be getting EP into IP. So, it's current is equal to ES into IS. Obviously, we will be getting ES divided by EP, ES, ES divided by EP is equal to IP divided by IS. So, obviously, we have got two equations ES divided by EP is equal to NS divided by NP and ES divided by EP is equal to IP divided by IS. So, we got two equations uh, equating the right side items. Uh, we will be getting ES divided by EP is equal to NS divided by NP is equal to IP divided by IS is equal to the K. Where K is referred to as uh, the transformer ratio. For the step up transformer, K is greater than 1. Whereas the step down transformer, K is lesser than 1. So, obviously, as I indicated in a step up transformer, ES should be greater than EP, implying that IS lesser than IP. So, that the step up transformer increases the voltage by decreasing the current, which in accordance with the law of conservation of energy. Similarly, a step down transformer decreases the voltage by increasing the current.